Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Isaac and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be shooting a thousand rounds through this Palmetto State Armory AK-104. This is the uh, pistol version. It has the arm stabilizing brace on the back as you can see. Uh, these are just some of the mags I'm going to be using. Uh, I've already shot about 350 rounds through this. You can see um, in the mags here, I have a mix of tool ammo, uh, Red Army Standard, Barnall, and I'm gonna be cycling through that just to make sure it cycles through those just fine. Um, yesterday when I did shoot the 350 rounds, you could see the handguard is kind of melting to the actual um, handguard stop there. So uh, I probably shot through those a little too quickly, but uh, you know, other than that, it looks good. It functioned really well, so let's get to it. After about 250, 300 rounds, I have one failure to fire out of the tow ammo. You can see that the firing pin struck the primer, no problem. So I think it wasn't the gun issue. I think it was an ammo issue. It ran through the first 300 with, with no problem with the exception of this one round. I'm gonna mix it up moving forward, trying a few different rounds through it. Um, manufacturers, you know, do some Red Army Standard and some Barnall. So we'll see what it does. This is a tool ammo. <clears throat> it's probably about 600, 700 rounds through. Failed to eject. Uh, today I will be tearing apart this PSA AK-104. I put about a thousand rounds through it. A um, hundred of those rounds were Red Army Standard. A hundred of those rounds were Barnall and the other 800 rounds were all uh, Tula ammo. So let's pull this apart and take a closer look at it. No real issues with the uh, recoil spring, it seems like, which is to be expected. And no real issues with the dust cover, again, to be expected. This is after I kind of cleaned off some of the carbon. It's not a perfectly deep clean, but you get the idea. Here it is again, kind of wiped down. Not perfectly clean, but enough to where you can see the wear that's happening. You can see I did shoot a little bit quicker than I probably should have. I wasn't like just doing mag dump after mag dump after mag dump. But you can see inside kind of started melting the handguard a little bit. Not a big deal, but something to note. Hi 
I do have a video showing all of the breakdown and close-ups of these components before I put a single round through it on my channel. If you want to go look at that video as kind of a comparison to seeing how they held up after a thousand rounds, uh, go check that out. I'll put the link up here um, as well if you're interested in that. But um, yeah, I'm going to just kind of do a progressive um, close-up and video of these components as I shoot more rounds through them. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it did. Um, I wasn't expecting it to crap out on me at all. Some of you may have recently seen the Garand Thumb video on their, um, on the PSA AK that he reviewed and they was already showing some signs of wear, um, excessive wear for just like 1,000, 1,500 rounds, something like that. So, you know, I was kind of curious to see if this one was fall into the same uh, shortcomings, but it doesn't seem to be doing it so far. I don't know when I'm going to be getting another thousand rounds to just blow through in this thing. Um, I got a few other projects going on, so if you want to send a thousand rounds, send them my way. I'll be more than happy to throw, throw them through this rifle. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope this helped you guys and um, informed you on um, maybe making a decision for purchasing this rifle in the future. I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, I, some people did complain about the, the arm stabilizing brace not being really rigid. Uh, for me, it seemed to be just fine. I don't really see an issue with it. Um, maybe, maybe there's different badges. Maybe other people hold the rifle different than I do. Excuse me, hold the pistol different than I do. But um, yeah, uh, I didn't have any issues with it. I, I think it's a perfectly good stock for the purpose that this pistol serves. So anyway. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button uh, if you're interested in this kind of content. Um, I also have some off-road overland type stuff as well. My dad and I are actually getting ready to go on a motorcycle trip on the Continental Divide starting up at the Canadian border, headed down to the Mexican border here in two weeks or so, which is why it's taken me so long to put out another video. You can see I got some of my stuff packed up right up there but um yeah so if that stuff kind of stuff's interests you i'll be posting some videos of that as well along with some more gun content thanks again